Hello, and welcome to another episode of AI Voices. My name is Ryan, and if this is uh, your first time here, so nice to meet you, and thank you for uh, watching this video. Um, today, we're going to talk about uh, a new tool uh, called Shortcut, um, which I think is uh, super interesting. I already had a first run uh, while doing the uh, Hebrew version of this uh, video, and um, I was I was impressed, um, and I'm interested to hear uh, what you think. Uh, first of all, shout out to uh, Tommy, Tommy Barav. He is the CEO of time os um uh, an amazing ai tool if you have if you don't know it yet i will link uh it below so you can try it out it's an amazing tool time os is basically uh, a transcriber uh, helps you to summarize transcribe and also read uh, a lot of stuff that happened in meetings before and prepare yourself for the next meeting and a lot of different options and tools that they have in their system so i definitely recommend to check it out time os i'll put a link in the description below um and he uh had a post that he uh, did on LinkedIn, if I remember correctly. I'm going to link it also here in the description so you can read it. And he was talking about this tool shortcut. And I said, OK, I have to try this out. Uh, as someone who uh, had uh, worked a lot with uh, Excel and Google Sheets to uh, use a lot of data and information in different companies that I worked, and also in my company, I use a lot of Excel Sheets. I used to use today a little bit less, but still. And um, this tool basically comes to help us build any a Google Sheet or Excel that we want, that we need, uh, with all the information in a very uh, short uh, period of time. Um, and uh, just like it says here, ask Shortcut to do your work for you. Most tax tasks take 3 to 15 minutes to complete. All changes can be reverted. And you can give it uh, a lot of information. So when you go in, this is what you will see. Um, I already uh, subscribed, but in the beginning, uh, you won't be able to do anything until you upgrade uh, your uh, account. And in order to upgrade, uh, you will have these options. So you will have either the Pro version for $40 per month, version for $200 per month, and Teams 500 per month per seat. Um, so I think probably either the $40 per month or $200 per month would be for most people. I am right now on a uh, $200 per month uh, subscription, but they have a seven day free trial. So I didn't pay $200, I just did the free trial. And I recommend for you guys to try it out as well if it's something that you use a lot, uh, excels in your work. The, uh, I think this is very cool uh, and it has a lot of things that you can do. So um, once you register for the trial, of course, I do recommend that you uh, cancel uh, the subscription um, just in case, um, but uh, right after you do the trial. Um, but that's up to you, of course, if you want to keep it and so on. Uh, here on the top, we have an option to add some AI rules and instructions and really define like guidelines for the AI. Um, we can click here on new chat and we can share this um, uh, sheet that we're doing and anybody that has the access can share it. We can open a, 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 a file, a Excel sheet that we already have and work on it and edit it. We can start a new file. We can export the file and we have settings and information about security. So it's very straightforward. It's very, um, you know, not very complicated, not too many things, not too many buttons or anything like that. And we do have this uh, place where it's basically an Excel uh, for just like any other Excel and we can do uh, whatever we want. Um, I'll show you an example of what I already built in uh, with this. So this was my first um, attempt. And basically I just uh, took from one of the templates in here, you can see that there's all kinds of suggestions that it gives. So I just took one of the suggestions that popped up and I asked it to build a 12 month sales forecast with scenario analysis. And then it started uh, to think and to go through some stuff. And then it asked me a few clarification questions where I just needed to uh, answer it and click some buttons. It was really very straightforward and easy. And then it basically started building the whole system. Uh, as you can see here, it built uh, this sheet, an assumption, and then forecast. Um, let me just minimize it a little bit so you can see like the whole thing. Um, so it built this uh, forecast. This is the assumptions, uh, scenarios, Look how beautiful this looks. Um, dashboard. OK. And um, of course, all of this was built in. It took about 13 minutes uh, for it to build this. Um, and I really liked how it did all of this. And of course, I can export it, use it. I can share it. I can do whatever I want. Um, so today, we're going to try another one. And um, let's see if we can. OK, I want to try and see. I know it's not a usual maybe case for uh, an Excel sheet, but that's why I want to try it and see how it will deal with it. But I want to try and use and build an Excel sheet for my business and use it as a um, um, for for my, uh, let's say, for my leads and for everything that my business is doing. Um, so let's give it a simple instruction. Uh, build me a system that will be like a CRM for my business. Business, 
this. So I will manage my leads and clients. And I want also to manage my tasks, my projects, and and my uh, incomes and expenses and total uh, profit. Let's just give it something very, very generic like this, and let's see how it could do that. I, of course, if I would do it, um, you know, um, in, in a better way than, or uh, for real, then I would uh, do it in, in a better way than this. Um, you can also, as you can see here, there is a basic and max AI. I didn't understand yet the difference between the max and the basic. Um, there's ask mode, so you can just brainstorm with it, and there's action as well. So I'm just going to leave it for now in action, but probably uh, you should also try, you know, ask mode a little bit, uh, get to that um, understanding of exactly what you want and how you want to build it, and then go to the action. Um, but we're just going to send it. Of course, I can attach files here, um, but we're going to send it as it is. So let's see what it's going to do. Um, OK, so first of all, it's giving it uh, a name, uh, CRM System Management. OK, I'll help you build a comprehensive CRM system in the dashboard. And I'm also going to count the time, OK, since we started. It just started now, uh, so we're already four seconds in, because um, I want to see how long it takes. It Last time that we tried for this one, uh, this one, it took about 13 minutes. OK, so just like I told you before, he first of all, it asks you some clarification questions. And what I like about this part is that I don't need to write it in. It just asks me questions. I have a few uh, things to answer, uh, just to click on, uh, a few options, and that's it. I don't need to type it in and explain myself. Uh, and I think this is very, very useful. OK, so let's see. How would you like to organize your CRM system across different sheets? Um, would I want six separate sheets, leads to clients, tasks, projects, finances, dashboard? Or four lead, four sheets, contacts, leads plus clients, tasks. Uh, okay, let's do the first one because I want to see how it does. Like even a more elaborate uh, project or more sheets, the better for for our test. Uh, what information do you want to track for your leads and clients? Name, email, phone, status, company notes, or detailed basic plus address, source, deal value, last contact date, next follow up. Yeah, we're going to do the detailed. We want as much. Uh, and we want this to be as elaborate as possible for this testing because I want to see if we can you know, do all these stuff. Uh, how would you like to categorize your income and expenses? Uh, so detailed, again, uh, what type of dashboard visualization would you like? Uh, comprehensive, not minimal. We want as much as possible. Would you like to use color coding and conditional formatting for status tracking? Sure, why not? And do you have any specific business requests, workflows, or unique requirements that should be incorporated? Um, let's just uh, tell it. I also, let's try and see this. I didn't try this option. I also uh, run a YouTube channel. So I want to add a sheet for all my YouTube ideas and what I need to a record what I need to edit and what was published all in one sheet. Let's see if he's going to do anything with that. And once we finished everything, we answered all the questions, we click continue. And that's it. Now it should start thinking and trying to see how, uh, how to do this. So let's see what it is. By the way, we're already three minutes in, which at least two minutes of it was me answering and reading all the questions, I think. So that's also something to understand here. It's so far quite um, um, fast. OK, I'll build a comprehensive CRM business management system with all the features you need, including your YouTube content tracking. OK, so it did see uh, my additional note which is amazing. I love that. It already, if you see down here, it already started building the sheets. So dashboard, leads, clients, tasks, projects, finance, YouTube. OK, I love this. Is this all the sheets? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, these are all the sheets. OK, and a powerful dashboard. Now start building your CRM system. OK, so let's see. Uh, here below, we can see that it's thinking and it's working. We can see how much uh, progress in percentage. And we can see a list of tasks. So there's tasks here. The first one was create seven sheets for the CRM system. Uh, now it's doing build the leads sheets with comprehensive lead tracking, including contact info, status, deal value, and follow updates. And then here, create the client's sheet 
um, with client management, set up tasks, build the project sheet, create the finances, set up the YouTube content sheet, uh, design the dashboard with KPIs, uh, add charts to dashboard, apply conditional formatting and data validation. So these are all the tasks that it needs to do. And you see, it just outlines the whole tasks and it's starting to move forward and uh, building everything. So first of all, we have here already the leads. So let's see what it did with the leads. We have lead ID, we have name, email, phone, company, address, source, where did it come from, deal value, status. This is amazing. I mean, again, I don't know if you can understand. Tell me. I would love to hear your thoughts in the notes. But this is something that would have taken me um, some time to build. So if it manages to build everything, that would be amazing. So we have the leads that already did. Now it's the client. So we have client ID, we have name email, phone, company, address, source, con contract value, active or on hold, what's the status, contract started, contract end. Um, this is amazing. Look at this. Very beautiful. Next follow-up, total revenue and notes. All right. Let's see what it's building now. It's still creating the client's sheet. Oh, okay. Now it's on the tasks. So look at this. We have task ID, task name, description, who it's assigned to, due date, priority status, uh, related project, related client. Look at this. This is lovely. I mean, it did also the connections um, to the other sheets uh, with this. That's amazing if it did. Uh, notes, draft completed, agenda sent, design approved. Look at this. Wow. I'm sure that uh, if I would have given him more context about my business, maybe it would be even better. I think I will try and do that later and, uh, and actually use this. I mean, I can use this and go into, um, you know, NA10 or something and um, put this also as part of my uh, system. Um, okay, let's see, project ID, project name. Now we're in the projects. So it built already the leads, the clients, the tasks. Now it's on projects, project name, client, start date, end date, status, budget, um, description everything. And I think we are getting close to almost 10 minutes soon in this. Uh, I think it's been like seven, seven or eight minutes so far. It's already built all this. It's really lovely. Amazing. Okay, let's see. Okay, now it's building the finance. So we have again, transaction ID, date, type, category, amount, description, and of course, project link, client link, payment method, tax info, uh, running balance notes, Amazing financial summary, income, expenses, net profit, like everything I asked from it, I have here. Um, so it's finishing now to create the content. You can see 45%, sorry, the finances. And then the next one would be the YouTube. So we're just going to wait a little bit more. Okay. And I just built the YouTube content. So we're about nine minutes in. Uh, maybe a little bit more, nine, 10 minutes in, and we have already the whole system basically ready. We have the uh, YouTube uh, content, so we have video ID, video title, idea description, re recording status, editing status, publishing status, schedule date, publish date. Look at this, uh, video URL, views, likes, comments. I mean, I can build here everything and connect this to even uh, an automation to get all this information and, you know, really uh, build a nice, nice thing here. That would have taken me days uh, to build this whole system here, this whole CRM system, if you would like. Um, of course, this wouldn't be like using a real CRM. I do understand that, but it's just to show the ability of what we can do with the system. This is amazing, I have to say. Okay. So we're in seven tasks out of 11. Let's see. Ah, okay. This is the um, the dashboard, business management dashboard, key performance indicators, total leads. Okay. Look at this while it's, uh, I'm, I'm, it's going to jump here and there because it's still building a lot of things. But this could be like one dashboard where I can basically see everything. I have my total leads, active leads, monthly revenue, net profit, open tasks, uh, active project, YouTube videos published, total YouTube video uh, views, uh, lead funnel, hot leads, warm leads, cold leads, task set status. Look at this, uh, project budget, project overview. It's a little bit tight here, but we can do that in a few clicks and, and make it look nicer uh, when it finishes. Now let's see, what is it doing now? So now it's designing the dashboard with KPI cards showing key metrics from all sheets. Okay, look, it made me here on the dashboard a quick navigation so I know exactly what everything is. Lead distribution in a chart and task status. We can stand. Very good. Okay, and it's getting to the end. And it's done. So it took about 
15 minutes, um, maybe a little bit more, about 17, 18 minutes maybe. Um, but look what it did. Your complete CRM system is ready. I've successfully built a comprehensive business management CRM system with all the features you requested, dashboard, leads, clients, tasks, projects, finances, YouTube content, key features implemented, automatic calculations, interactive tables, conditional formatting, data validation, cross-sheet reference, visual charts, color-coded statuses, sample data, how to use your CRM, start with the dashboard, add new leads, convert leads to clients, create tasks and projects, record our financial transactions, track your YouTube content. This system is fully functional. I mean, it did everything and I am basically ready. Now, if I want to uh, do anything, of course I could, uh, edit or I can do it myself if it's something simple. So let's look here. First of all, we have our dashboard. Look at this last updated. I can double click this so we can see. This is when I last updated stuff. I can see here all the information. Um, here we'll do also double click and I'll double click here. All of these so it will look nicer. Okay, income, expenses, cash position, profit margin. Look at this, this is beautiful. Okay, quick navigation like we saw and we have here uh, system features, uh, lead distribution, and we have also task status. So that's the dashboard. And again, if you want to see, this is the leads. Okay, and we have here even a nice design. We have here uh, statuses. We can uh, choose how to see and what to see and how to filter. We have clients, tasks, very beautiful, projects. Look at this with the project progress and this beautiful color, finance. I mean, except for this thing that we need to always do double, uh, click on it to see the whole number. And this is perfect. YouTube content, okay, again, this is just beautiful. And just for the example, let's say here I do 5,000, okay? You see it's all relative to what we have here. 120, I mean, 2,500. Sorry for that. 2,500. See, it's all, um, um, you know, looking at what I'm doing, it's reacting. It's nice. Very cool. Now, of course, you can design it maybe a little bit better. You can work with it, but you already have something that is already very nice and working. Amazing. I really like it. And of course, just like I said, I can share this. I can export it. Bottom line is I really like this um, system. I'm going to play with it a little bit more in these days that I have and build as much as I can in the seven days. Um, and then we'll see, maybe even uh, make a subscription here. Let me know what you think in the comments about this. Thank you guys.